guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and today we're gonna do a wine tasting. That came out weird. Anyway, um, so I saw this ad, I don't know, I was probably on Instagram or something and it was actually, no, it was Facebook because it linked to an article by the Huffington Post, I wanna say, and it was talking about this company tasting room which is a wine club type of a thing and the cool thing was and they had a discount so if i can figure out any sort of discount for you i will link that in the description box always check that out for any sort of discount codes or anything it was like 6.95 so it was super cheap and with that i got this little tasting kit and it has two whites and four reds and it comes with a little card and a thing and then you're supposed to go online and basically taste the wines and rate them so that they can figure out what types of wines you like and then from there they will send you wine and you can either get a 12 bottle pack i think a six pack or a two pack of wine you know i'm not really sure if you can pick specific wines yet I don't know, we're gonna go through this together. So, I got this actually several weeks ago and I've been meaning to do a video, so I haven't done the tasting yet. And I took too long and they sent me a case of wine. <laughs> and of course, I haven't given them my preferences, so they just sent me a random case of wine and I spent $180 on um, a 12 pack of wine that I don't know if I'm gonna like. They do have a thing where if you don't like a bottle, they will credit you for your next box, I guess. I don't know. I contacted customer support and I was like, hey, you sent me an email saying that I had until August 4th. And they're like, oh, the email was wrong. But everything else says you have 30 days to do. And I'm like, I'm irritated right now. I'm just saying your customer support is not my favorite. Basically, they made a bunch of excuses and I should have known better. And a lot of times with customer support, I mean, this was through email, but they should be like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Instead, they were like, no, the email was wrong. You're dumb, basically. That was how I felt they were saying it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the website. I have my, my laptop here. Okay, it's just tastingroom.com. Before you start sipping, you'll taste wines in pairs. Just click on the one you prefer. Undecided, if you like or dislike both wines, just click the no preference button. Let's start with the white wine. Chill your white wines. Oh, I did not do that. I don't care, I'm just gonna drink warm white wine. Get two clean dry glasses and they're different so that I can remember. And I have my card. This is what, like a two ounce, 50 milliliters. So it's a good size taste, you know? I mean, it's not a full glass, but it's also not just a dinky little thing. Like if you were to go wine tasting, this would be a pretty good pour. Okay, so let's try number one. Bottoms up. Hmm, smells good. Hmm. That's really good. Kind of crisp and tart. I bet if it were cold, it would be very refreshing. <laughs> Number two, tastes like a Chardonnay. Buttery, warmth to it, <laughs> and it's warm. It's not bad, it's not bad. I definitely prefer the Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, so I'm gonna click on one. How much more did you like number one than number two? I'm gonna say a lot more, actually. Great, you're done with the white wines. Now on to the reds. So it's interesting that they don't give you any information about the wine. They don't even tell you what it is. They just say one or two, and I'm reading off the bottles. At least they have the bottles labeled as to what it is. But you know, I mean, there's no tasting notes. There's nothing to look for. There's, you know, nothing like that, which I think is interesting. And for this purpose, probably good because they don't want to sway you either way. You know, if you're thinking about bacon and eggs while you drink your Chardonnay, you might like this more than if you're thinking about Brussels sprouts and kiwi. I don't know why Brussels sprouts, but anyway, you, you know what I mean? Like, it, I think it's probably good that they don't mention anything off the bat. Okay, so I'm probably actually just gonna dump that Chardonnay, but I'll drink this one. Get two more glasses and flip my card over to the red side. So I'm gonna do three and four first. Very light, not too jammy. Okay, and then I will try the Cabernet Franc. I feel like that one is the kind of wine that, that might like grow on you or get better as it sits out because right now it feels very flat, like one note. So I'm gonna say that I liked three better. A little more or a lot more? 
Let's, let's try these again. I like the Pinot a lot more. Now on to, th oh, three and five. I feel like we're getting into the playoffs now. <laughs> okay, all right, so three and five. Which one do I like more? It's a Merlot. Yeah, this is definitely a little more rich than the Pinot Noir, um, but it's, it's good. But I like them both, so I'm going to say liked both. He wants me to compare five and six. Number six, bourbon barrel red wine blend. That's really good. I'm gonna say I like six more. I'm gonna say a little more. Did you dislike any? I'm gonna say two. I didn't even finish drinking two. What kind of wine would you like? Oh, okay, so red only, red and white, or white only. You know, I almost always go for red only, but with summer coming up, you know, you can probably change your preferences later on to be like, okay, in the summer, I drink more white wines. So I'm just gonna go with red only. Rebecca, you like big reds. <laughs> red wine flavors, you'll prefer blackberry, blackcurrant, plum, oak, chocolate, and coffee. Which grapes you should look for. This is actually pretty cool. Instead of saying, hey, if you like coffee, you'll like this wine. It's if you like this wine, you should look for these flavor profiles. So when you are looking for a wine, say in a store or whatever, and they say hints of coffee and chocolate and plum, you'll know, hey, I will probably like that one. So I kind of like how they lay this out. How to order wine you'll love at a restaurant. This is actually really cool that they give you all of this information based on your preferences. Now you know where to go from there. I actually really like the way that they have this laid out. I mean, this is, well thought out. So now, as I mentioned before, I did not do this in time and they misled me with their email. And so they just sent me a box of random wines. Shall we see what they sent me? <laughs> Let's see if I'm gonna like these. So the mailman showed up a couple of days with this beast and I was like, what the heck is that? And then I realized what had happened and apologized to my husband. And then I was talking to my sister and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I will come over immediately and help you with that. <laughs> I mean, it's always good to have wine on hand if you have friends over or to take to dinner. Somebody invites you to dinner, take a bottle that you don't like, but maybe they will, right? And at least you brought something. Okay, so here we have this little thing. Grab your corkscrew, your wine is here. Track your tastes, rate the wines, love a particular wine. Get more of it for just $13 a bottle. Oh, okay, so if you do like a specific one, you can just purchase that on its own or whatever. That's good to know, and $13 a bottle isn't bad. They do charge shipping though. Like I know this box, they charge shipping, even though it's 12 bottles of wine. A lot of wine companies will say if you buy four or more, then shipping is free. This one, not so much. Okay, so let's start with these pink tops over here. What do we have? Sauvignon Gris. I wonder if I like that. Okay, so there's two of these. I think there's two of each one that they sent me. Here we have a Chardonnay. It's not the same Chardonnay that was in my um, tasting kit, but I will definitely bring be bringing these ones to dinner parties. Mulberry Road Cellars Lodi Old Vine Zinfandel. Mmm, that sounds super fantastic. Looking forward to that one. Three hairs, Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay, good. I always like those. So does Colin. Colin always loves cabs. Every time we go out to a restaurant, I order him a Cabernet Sauvignon and me. Lately, it's been a lot of Malbec's Chilean Cabernet Sauvignon. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and Malbec. Yay! Okay, so, you know, without taking my tastes into account, they sent me a lot of bottles that I think I will actually like. So, that's good. I have not had good luck with actual wine clubs. I love weekly tasting, but that's not a subscription. You know, you just order whenever you find a box that you think you will love. And so I have been ordering those and I've given them as gifts. I love weekly tasting because I love their wines. And I've had very bad luck with like Wink and Bright Cellars, the Martha Stewart one. They all tasted the same and they were very jammy and there was no complexity to the wines. Or it, just, it just felt very like run of the mill. If you just want wine, those are fine. But if you're kind of a wine snob and you want some nuance, some complexity to your wines, 
I like weekly tasting. Um, weekly tasting also helps you learn a lot about wines. So I am curious to see how this goes. So I will probably do a follow-up video after I've actually opened some of these bottles, had more of an experience, you know, all of that stuff. So far, their customer service is meh, but we'll see, we'll see. Their wines, um, just from that little tasting pack, were pretty good. And if nothing else, you can just cancel. Like, if you get the tasting pack and you're like, I'm not impressed, you can just cancel and never get the box. Just make sure you do it within 30 days, otherwise they will send you a full freaking 12 pack. So, anyway, I will leave all of the information in the description box. Hopefully I have some sort of a discount code or something where you guys can get the tasting for super cheap like I did. Otherwise, I will link that Huffington Post thing so that you can get that discount. Anyway, I'm excited about this. You know, I have mixed feelings, but overall I think I'm excited. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!